Imagine, we live in a world without children. There is no joyful laughter, no children jumping around and playing. A piece of joy would be missing from this world. Imagine the children are still there, but we don't call them that. We now call them little adults. We treat them like little adults. We call them spiritual beings in small bodies. We are all spiritual beings trapped in a body. Imagine we are born again. Every new cycle starts with a small body. The spiritual being in this young body is old. The spiritual being is superior to the body. The words child and childhood are banished. Small and large bodies are treated equally. There is no protection zone, no buffer. What would it be like if we no longer had this infectious joy around us? The little adult receives the same respect as an adult. They have the same rights and duties as an adult. Imagine if there were no parental duties. The spiritual being is taken care of by the organization. Parents are no longer responsible for the development of the little adult. Every thought is controlled. Every thought is for one purpose, the protection of the organization. Mind control is typical of a cult. These are the names of the children who were born and raised in Scientology. They have escaped their fate as adults, in one way or another. These are just the names of those who have spoken out publicly. There are so many more. There are many secrets within this organization. Only the very special members know the truth about the OT levels. You have to study for many years and pay a lot of money to get there. The outside world is not allowed to know about these secrets. That's typical of a cult. Everyone works together in an organization for the good of the organization. The little adult must join the Sea Org. It must sign a contract for a billion years. It can be above the parents in the hierarchy of the organization. Everyone would respect it for their position. It would be given duties and more responsibility. The organization has its own language. Learning this language begins at an early age. The outside world cannot understand the language. This is typical of a cult. Everyone would watch and judge the little adult. There are cameras everywhere so that no mistake is overlooked. It learns to be an interrogator. There are many rooms and many hotels for these interrogations. Grown men are interrogated by little adults. Everything is recorded. There are no secrets in this hotel room. There are lots of rules to ensure control. Anyone who breaks the rules is punished. Anyone who criticizes the rules is punished. You are not allowed to have your own opinion. That's typical of a cult. It is important for everyone that the little adult always does everything right. It is always demanded and any misbehavior is reported. Reporting each other is typical of a cult. Every reported mistake means progress. You want him to progress, don't you? You want to save the planet, don't you? You want him to reach the bridge of total freedom, don't you? Then report me when I fall asleep because I'm so tired. Then report me when I have taken food without permission because I am so hungry. Then report me when I cry because I'm so sad. You want to save the planet, don't you? You want me to save the planet, don't you? Then report me when I'm wild and having too much fun. Then report me when I'm tired and running after 10 hours of work. Then report me when I'm angry and yelling. Then report me when I'm crying because I have to sit in an interrogation room for six hours being terrorized by an adult. Then report me when I refuse to be interrogated again. Then report me when I don't want to talk about sex. Then report me when I try to escape from the interrogation room. Then report me when I scream because a man says cruel things to me. Then report me for the nightmares I have every night. Then report me because I don't want to do the interrogating myself. Then report me if I don't want to hear what the man is doing to the animals. Then report me if I don't want to hear what the man is doing to small children. Then report me because I don't want to be an interrogator. Then report me for not wanting to work 10 hours every day. Then report me for running away because I don't want all that. I want to save the planet, don't I? Ever since I was a toddler, my path was predetermined. The organization prepared me my whole life. 
They grew me into this role. This was not my decision. I'm only allowed to learn what I'm given. I'm only allowed to think what I'm told. I have to follow the rules. I am not allowed to have feelings. I am not allowed to be a child. My thoughts are trapped. The outside world is a strange place for me. I want to leave, but where can I go? I don't know anything else. I am trapped. I was born into this cult. And I have to stay for one billion years. Can you help me? This girl is 10 or 11 years old. She is a member of the C organization in Scientology. She is currently being instructed to coach an interrogator student. The student interrogator will later interrogate adults and non-children. These interrogations are used either as a paid service or to control Scientologists who do not think in terms of Scientology. Scientologists call these interrogations auditing. The girl is instructed to work through the questions in the book with the man. She has to keep asking him the questions until he gets all the answers right. If the student makes a mistake, they start again from the beginning. All questions must be answered correctly in one round. This video is over 10 years old. The leader of Scientology presented it to all Scientologists present as a new training method. The content of the questions is not relevant at this point. What is important, however, is that it is completely normal for everyone involved that 10-year-old girls take on this role and coach adult men. She is a Sea Org member, which means she has signed a billion-year contract. Many former Sea Org members report that this is not always voluntary locked in a room that you can only leave once you have signed. Even if you are not in that room, there is a lot of pressure to join the Sea Org. Sea Org members are those who are most dedicated to the cause and know no other life than that in the Sea Org. They usually work more than 110 hours a week. They also have to study Scientology books and complete training courses. They live with many others in a room with bunk beds. They get food and clothes for work they receive an allowance of $47 per week. From this, they have to buy hygiene articles such as toilet paper. People from abroad receive a visa for religious voluntary work in the USA. These visas are locked away by Scientology for security. The visas are not in the hands of the respective Sea Org members. It is reported that most of those coming from abroad did not even understand what they were supposed to do. The thought of coming to the U.S. has been the big lure for them. This only scratches the surface of the truly abysmal black hole that is metaphorically swallowing people. What do you think about this? I say thank you and see you next time. The SPTV Foundations is here to help. People who want to leave Scientology and those who have already left are supported to transition into normal society and beyond. 